Hello everybody. Time for my weekly update. A bit serious this time. I'm sat in my summer house at home, uh, which is unusual, but I thought I would today. Um, a couple of things I need to talk to you about. Throughout this coronavirus pandemic, I have repeatedly said that one of my jobs is to keep you all as safe as I can. That's pupils, staff and parents. There are a lot of you for me to think about. I made the decision, and it was a very difficult decision to make, this week not to open the school to reception year one and year six yet, and not on Monday or Tuesday. Because although it is safer than it was, it is not yet safe enough, in our opinion, that's mine and the governor's, to risk bringing you back. So I'm waiting two more weeks. You will want to know why as I know many of you are going to be disappointed, pupils, parents alike, and well aware that this was never going to be a popular decision. The first reason is that the independent science advice does not support a return on June the 1st, and we're lucky to have one of our parents who works for Public Health England. They're the people who, who are monitoring the virus and the impact of it. The advice I was given by them confirmed that June the 1st was too early to bring the children back to schools. So that was two independent pieces of scientific advice that I could not ignore. When I watched the daily briefing tonight, Thursday, the chief scientific advisor referred to the fragile, that means something that, that could be easily broken or could go wrong, the fragile situation that the country is in. So although the five tests have been met, it's too early to be confident that these will continue to be met. The second reason for me delaying the, you coming back to school is the track and trace facility that's been introduced today. And it has only been introduced today. And as yet, there is no evidence about how successful that's going to be. And I think we ought to wait for that. And thirdly, on a practical level, we don't have enough hand sanitizer for all our entrances and exits. And that's one of our um, PPE, so our, our protective equipment for you and for us and for your parents. Uh, it's been on order for quite a long time. Mrs Aldridge is very quick on getting, making sure we've got everything we need. But supply at the minute is um, uh, cannot meet the demand because as you can imagine, every school in the country needs the same things. I would now add another reason. The government announced today that, that from Monday we can meet family and friends in groups of six, only if we meet them outside and we maintain social distancing of two metres. How can I, as a head teacher, bring between 12 and 15 households together, children and adults, in an inside classroom? where social distancing is going to be challenging at best. Five-year-olds don't always understand two metres apart. Again, the chief medical officer in the daily briefing today reiterated, he repeated several times, the need for two metres social distancing in an outside setting. So to me, it just no, does not feel safe enough for us to come back yet. I was really looking forward to seeing you all on Monday, so now I'll have to wait another couple of weeks, but in the meantime, stay safe. Bye!